Here at Cybos, Swift has a fascinating role balancing organizer with exhibitor at the conference. For example, we're at the Swift stand today. There's the Swift Auditorium. I'm here with Javier Perez Tazo. Javier, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Um, maybe you can talk to me a little bit about Swift's vision in terms of uh, how it balances its focus on core business and new services. Well, it's going to be around three areas. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, uh, continue to maintain or even increase our operational excellence. Second area is to focus even more on developing traffic in our core franchises, correspondent banking, high value payments, and security settlement and reconciliation. And the third priority is around all this area of cloud and shared services. So there's clearly a lot to do, and we're looking forward to come back at Cybos in Dubai next year and share with the community the progress on all of these initiatives. I'm joined now by Sido Vistani. Sido, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're talking about Swift at Cybos, and in terms of product innovation, uh, what can you tell me about uh, some of the new products that people can hear about? One of the major focus we're having is around consultancy. We have built a center of expertise uh, lately in Dubai. Uh, we have six consultants and we are providing actually um, consult projects. We're doing projects around technical infrastructure of the banks. We are also checking all their business continuity program. There is a lot of requests around this matter. What we're trying to do also is help the bank and the corporate to streamline their banking transaction in Qatar and in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have 20 corporates connected to, to SWIFT today. The other new products which we, is taking up very, uh, very quickly actually is sanction screening. Uh, this is uh, the application which is in the cloud, so an easy way for the, let's say, low, medium tier banks to comply with the uh, regulation. Perhaps the other opportunity I see, which is, I think, going to grow very fast, which is also new at Swift, is around Light2. You know, how can I outsource my connectivity to Swift? How can I outsource the Swift interface? So these are, let's say, the four major focus that uh, uh, we have and we will see growing in the, in the future in the MENA region. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Cheers.